I am honestly in disbelief that this is our final cruise of our Europe itinerary. Next week we are doing the transatlantic crossing back to the States and it's definitely bittersweet. I feel like the past three months have gone by so fast, like a blink of an eye and it is already almost November. I'm very sad to say goodbye to Europe, but of course I can always come back here. Today we are in Split Croatia. It's our last visit here and I just wanted to bring you around for the last few days in Croatia. Tomorrow we are visiting a new port, which is very exciting. So we were scheduled to go to Bari, Italy, but instead we are going to Zadar, Croatia. So today we're in Split, tomorrow Zadar, and the following day we're in Dubrovnik. But what are these? No way these are blueberries. They're massive. I don't know. I've never seen that fruit before. I love olives. Yum. I think we can try them. This is very good. That is good olive oil. What? Uh, only cow. This is a mix. Cow and sheep. Oh, okay. This and is this? a prosciutto, this is a pork neck, this. Something else or that's it? Yes, and it is fine. Nothing makes me happier than a taste test at a little market stand. If they've got a taste test, you know I'm trying it. Doesn't matter what it is. I'll try almost any kind of taste test. I mean, maybe not everything, but the prosciutto and the cheese was so good as well as the olive oil. Bread was a little stale, but olive oil was good. Really? Wow. Who's the artist? The artist is corn. Corn? Corn. Hey. Zara's pulling us in again for another round. Only quick. Oh, they've got split? all their fall and winter stuff. They split, we'll go together. Together? Oh, cute. This is really nice. Actually, I think I have this at home. Well, so, not this, like not this exact one, but something similar. I want to wear fall and winter fashion so bad. Uh, Isn't that cute? Yeah, it's it's, it's a cute little cardigan. Yeah, nice. Show me the small. Show me the small. Nice. Perfect. I can't believe I didn't pack my basic white and black tee. <laughs> Purchase made. We have to visit one last time. We got the same thing pretty much. The only difference is I got honey and he got oats instead of granola. That was ridiculously good. There's nothing left. What did you do? I don't know. <laughs> I He's got a stain on, on his shirt, and I got acai on my shirt. <laughs> We're both a mess. Can I do a cappuccino with oat milk, please? do latte art. Maybe one day when I'm on land and have more free time, we can practice. Because it looks so cute.
I'm gonna miss this port. It's really nice. Sad to be saying goodbye. Hello. We have made it back on board and it's so bittersweet that that was our last visit to Split. I did make a list of a few recommendations for if you are coming to Split. I thought maybe that would be helpful because I have come here many different times. I've tried different things and just want to share the knowledge. So I've got three different categories. I've got activities or like things to see, eating and drinking. Starting off with things to do in Split, the best recommendation and also the most vague recommendation is just walk around Old Town and get lost in Old Town because you can spend a lot of time wandering down different alleyways and streets. It is such a cool city and I just absolutely love the architecture and the way that the city was built. There are so many different paths that you can walk around the city and it kind of feels like a maze, so definitely recommend just taking a stroll. If you are looking for specific monuments to visit, I definitely, definitely recommend stopping at Diocletian's Palace. This is like the number one recommendation if you search things to do in Split. It is amazing, it is gorgeous, you can walk underneath the palace and they have some shops set up. It's really cool and definitely like a number one spot to hit up if you are ever in Split. I also really recommend taking some time to walk through the outdoor market. I believe the market is open most days. I am not entirely sure the hours of operation for the market but I do know they open quite early because I tend to get off the ship pretty early and they have already been set up for a while and I believe that they are open throughout the entire day. I personally really enjoy an outdoor market and just walking around and seeing what is offered. The market in Split is not too big but you can definitely spend a good amount of time there. There's fruit and vegetables, a lot of different fruits that I've never seen before. You can find different meats and cheeses, there's lavender, you can find books, you can find clothing, jewelry, hats everything. So definitely stop there and take a peek at everything that is being offered. Another monument you should hit up if you are in Split is the Gregor Ninsky statue. This is probably around a five to ten minute walk from the outdoor market so it's relatively close and it's definitely a good photo op. While you are at the Gregor Ninsky statue you should also take a peek at the Golden Gate. It is in the same area so it's another great photo op and a lot more history as well. My final recommendation for things to do is for those who are a little bit more active so I definitely recommend hiking the Krizna Marjanu. Marjanu? I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly but I highly doubt I am. This hike isn't too strenuous but it's definitely a good workout and it's something fun to do if you are in split. I would say the hike takes anywhere from 25 to 30 minutes to hike to the top and when you get to the top you have a gorgeous view of the city. Of course there are many more great photo ops and there is a massive Croatian flag at the very top. Definitely recommend doing that just make sure you are wearing a good pair of shoes on your feet. Moving on to food and eating recommendations, I've got a few. First and foremost, Oakberry if you are an acai lover, I definitely recommend taking a visit there. I know it is a chain so I'm not sure of other cities that Oakberry is offered in. This is the first one I've been to but it's quite affordable. You can get unlimited toppings on your acai bowl so only specific toppings are an additional charge but you can have as many as you want. It is so tasty, it's so fresh. They always have a seasonal fruit available and I have visited far too many times. My next recommendation is called Feel Green Cafe. It has a bunch of vegetarian and vegan options. The food is very fresh. I really like the atmosphere of that place because you can sit outside. There's some tables along the street so you can people watch and enjoy the sunshine. This restaurant is very tasty and quite affordable so you don't have to spend an arm and a leg for a nice lunch. Another recommendation for all those burger lovers out there, make sure you hit up Submarine. I love this restaurant. I personally did not order a burger when I went. However, the fries were impeccable and all my friends enjoyed their burgers. I had a very delicious salad. So there is something for everyone on the menu. 
and they were pretty good about dietary restrictions. So if you are dairy free or gluten free, they can accommodate you. Once again, very affordable, very tasty, and the portion sizes were quite generous as well. My last recommendation is for all the sweet tooths out there. I have a huge sweet tooth, so I completely understand. It is a gelato recommendation. So they have Gelateria Amelia is like one of the most popular ones, but if you walk two minutes further, you can find a really delicious gelato place and you can get a scoop of gelato for just two euro. I really enjoy this place and the owner or like the main guy who runs it and is there every single time, he is very friendly as well. So all around 10 out of 10 experience. Last but not least, drinks. I did not have any alcoholic drinks while in Split. However, you know how much I love coffee, so I have three recommendations. First and foremost, D16 Coffee. I found this on every TikTok imaginable, and it was as good as the hype. My two orders from D16 are either the iced coffee with oat milk and vanilla, or I've also gotten the cappuccino with oat milk and both were phenomenal. The vibe of the interior is just awesome. Wi-Fi is really good if you're looking for Wi-Fi and the coffee is delicious. Another really great cafe to visit is Cava 2. This place is always very busy so it might be a little difficult to find somewhere to sit but they have a really nice garden next to the cafe so it's just a really nice ambiance. They've got nice pastries here and coffee once again is delicious. And then my last recommendation for coffee is a place that I did not have a chance to try but I've heard really good things and that is Teak Cafe. So they have coffee as well as cocktails. Little honorable mention for two recommendations for Split that I did not personally go to. First being the Kirka National Park and secondly the Kliss Fortress. I really wanted to make it there but unfortunately never got the chance to. I'm sure there are a bunch of great places in Split to eat, drink, and explore. So whatever you do you're gonna have a great time but those are just a few recommendations coming from my personal experience. I will see you guys tomorrow for Zadar, a brand new port for me, one and only time there. I'm so excited. Today we are in Zadar, Croatia. So this is our first and only time visiting this port. I'm so excited to get off and explore a bit. This is our last full cruise of the Europe itinerary, but the ports are a little bit different than our usual run. So we were actually supposed to visit Barrie, Italy, but due to weather, or maybe something else, I'm not really sure. We have repositioned instead here in Zadar, which means another port day in Croatia, which is very exciting. Today is a show day, so we do have to be back fairly early to get ready for warm up ice and do all the prep that goes into a show, but I do still wanna get off and walk around and see the city. So I know I'm not in a turtleneck, but I really feel like I'm emulating Dwayne The Rock Johnson, like with his turtleneck and jeans look. I don't know. Resemblance. Damn. <laughs> We're wearing the same outfit. <laughs> Newport. I had originally looked at taking an Uber into the town, but there was actually a free shuttle bus from the port right in to the city center. The shuttle bus dropped us off right near the greeting to the sun, which we are standing on right now, which it actually lights up at night, which is really cool. Unfortunately, we won't be able to see that, but this is one of the attractions. V is skating. <laughs> Hello, sun. This is probably really cool at night. We're walking to the sea organs now. There's quite a bit of people, but I can hear it from here. <laughs> Shazam it! Shazam the song I write too. What can't the sea do? Water is so calm right here. Crazy. Oh my god, fishies! So many fishies. They're having the time of their life. So this right here is the Roman Forum. And then next to it is the Church of St. Donut. 
this city was so charming i really enjoyed walking around for a few hours i will try to have all the locations we visited listed in the description box below so keep an eye out for that surprise surprise somebody is shopping again and it's not me it's susie <laughs> Oh, that's that's very you. We are going to try some lemoncello. I said it yesterday, and I'll say it again. If there's a taste test, I'm having it. Lemoncello. Run, run, run. That was so bizarre. Graham and I just ran out of there because she was very weird. Like, she gave one little tiny cup with like one lick of lemoncello for Graham and nothing for me and then I asked for one she said only if you buy it so we took it and we ran <laughs> This is exciting. Is it funny? <laughs> Short person oh, problem. Oh, it's not a bunny, it's a cat. It's a cat. Just follow. <laughs> <laughs> a center for ants. <laughs> it has to be at least three, three times, times the bigger. size. <laughs> what is this? He must hit the gym very hard. Like yeah, he doesn't look at, the oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at, the, look at those cats. Yeah, he is just, he is Jim. That's Jim, that's just what that is. What did you get reading on? Do we like this shape for me? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Five Well Square, which is exactly what it sounds like. It is a square with five different wells in the line. In the span of an hour, we have seen every blue star thing on the map, according to Leo. We hit all the spots. Back to the tried and true for lunch. Look at this burger. That's a fat burger. Thank you. Good one. Yum. Thank so good. I got the same. I was gonna branch out and get a different salad, but our waitress said that this was the most popular and it was also her favorite, so I had to get my usual avocado chicken caprese salad. The wind coming back on board was crazy. Like the port is just a wind tunnel. So my hair looks a little bit crazy, but we're back on board. I've got to get ready for shows, but I had a really nice few hours out in Zadar. I wish we had more time to explore, but you know, a few hours is better than nothing. And we did hit up all the main monuments, if you will. Maybe not monuments. That's probably not the right word. Attractions. That is... A more fitting word so overall really good day but i will see you guys tomorrow because tomorrow we are in dubrovnik and that is our final port day in croatia It is our final port day in Croatia. Today we are in Dubrovnik and it is just as busy as it was in the summer months. Like this is off season and honestly I find it to be busier. Like there are so many people here. The weather is a little bit overcast. Not sure if it's gonna rain or not. I definitely did not dress appropriately. <laughs> I'm wearing a sundress. We're just gonna walk around, don't really have plans for the day because we've pretty much already seen and done everything. We've had so many incredible days in Dubrovnik. Like, 
excursions and whatnot. So we're just gonna take in the city one last time. One of the things you have to visit if you are in Dubrovnik is this outdoor market. There's a lot less vendors today, but I got some delicious marmalade from here, from the sweetest lady. So these are the Jesuit stairs, very famous in Game of Thrones. There's a lot of people here as you can see. We headed over to Booza Bar to enjoy a coffee but unfortunately it was cash only and neither of us had cash on us so we weren't able to sit down there but it is breathtaking and I definitely recommend you check it out just make sure to have some euros on you. 61 days till Christmas! Oh my god look at Santa up there! <laughs> You guys know how I feel about Christmas, so of course I had to stop at the Christmas store in Old Town. Time for gelato. Can I try the Caramel Delight? We actually got gelato from this same exact place last time, but it was so good so we had to come back. It's a few days later and I completely forgot to finish off the video. So I did make a list of recommendations of places to visit if you were ever in Dubrovnik. I will try to have the places all listed below. I absolutely love Dubrovnik. It has become one of my favorite ports of this contract and I definitely would like to come back sometime and actually have a proper holiday. Like if I did, you know, a week or even like five days in Croatia and just bopped around, that would be fantastic. But there's a lot of really Cool things to do and see in Dubrovnik. There's so much history and if you are a Game of Thrones fan, of course, there are a lot of very iconic filming locations there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Can't believe this is the end of the run for our Europe season, but new exciting ports to come soon. I can't wait for the crossing. I definitely will be filming that. So make sure to subscribe if you are not already. Also can't believe it is nearly November. Like where has the year gone? I don't know. As always, thank you guys so much for being here, supporting my channel and just being the best. I love you all to the moon and back. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.